Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to remove a black background in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we have two different ones we're gonna be using because we have slightly different techniques that you can put in your toolbox for using for both of these. So let's start off with these fireworks right here. We're gonna be making them actually appear and look pretty realistic in this scene. So we have two ways of doing this. The first way is to go and you can see it's, it's black currently right here. If you go to the screen, that for a lot of footage will work out actually pretty well. Um, you can see that we have some good luminance values here uh, overall. Now, th the other way is to use the luma key effect down here, effects keying luma key. That can come out looking good, but also sometimes with this effect, you can notice we find a place here. During the explosions, you see this sort of like bleed around the edge. We may need to bring the cutoff to sort of kill that bleed a bit. So like, for example, bring it down to, I mean, even up to like 74, because these are such bright lights. And now we actually are getting something that looks pretty good on the Luma key. And all honesty, I feel like some of the color values have maintained a little bit better than on the screen. Um, sometimes though, if you actually keep that, uh, that cut off there and apply both at the same time, you can get a really good effect. And with this particular version, the fireworks actually look really good with both the Luma key and the screen effect being applied at the exact same time. So you can still see all the smoke in there, but it's luma keyed out properly. Our next one we're gonna be working with is this fire ember one right here. So if we bring this up, it's just these embers that go across. If we wanted to add these into our footage, screen does a pretty good job in this situation as well. Um, a little see-through, for, for example, if you weren't trying to make it this see-through, you can't really make it you know, stronger without duplicating this. So with this, um, we could also add that Luma key in and try the Luma key out on this. So we'll bring this back to normal now. And with this, we lose a little bit of the glow with this particular way of doing it, um, but we maintain some of the darker colors. Uh, again, you could use a mix of these if you would like to see how that would look, but you, in this particular instance, you really only get the highlights out of here um, instead of, you know, everything. Uh, we can turn off the fireworks while we're doing this. So you may wanna mess around with these a little bit. Um, besides screen, sometimes lighten also works. You get sort of the darker uh, ranges here. And in all honesty, lighten may be the best version for this. But these are just some quick tools that you have in your toolkit. You wanna remove a black background, look at Luma key, look at screen and lighten, combine them, mix and match them, move some of these threshold and cutoff values around, and you will be able to remove it really quick and get a good looking image. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. If you would like to continue your Premiere Pro learning, check out the course that I have uh, in the link in the description below. I have created a course that teaches you all of these things in a very awesome and easy to understand manner. And until next time, guys, see ya.